What up guys, welcome to N Devil Gaming. Right here I've got a quick Madden news update type video. And uh, what we got going on on this one is the new cards that were released. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, show you what new cards were released. Two sets of new cards have been released. It is Thursday and not Sunday or Saturday when I normally have my uh, Madden update whatever news type videos. But we are going to be, I'm going to just do one in the middle of the week just because a few people have like said, oh yeah, well that card came out like on Tuesday or Wednesday and it's all the way up to Sunday now, like it's been out for forever. So I'm doing a mid midweek uh, little news update video. So to show all the new cards that have come out since then, uh, since last week, since the Ultimate Legends came out last week. So let me show you the new guys that came out. Uh, there are the final edition cards. So there is an elite strong safety that just came out. And it is. I can find him. William Moore. There he is, William Moore. 92 overall. He's got zone. Uh, plus 9 to zone, plus 8 to pass rush. 90 speed, not too fast. Uh, man coverage 65, zone coverage 87, so zone's okay, but his man is terrible. Usually like those good strong safeties have like up in the high 70s or 80s in man coverage. So that's really bad. Uh, but yeah, and why did he get one? He led the team in interceptions and force fumbles. That gets you a, a final card, I guess. Okay, let's see who else we get here. There is a left outside linebacker. Yes, he is a new left outside linebacker in the final edition card that came out this week. And let's see if we can find him. It is Dante Hightower. There he is. 8,500 points, not too bad. Uh, he's got man defense and pass rush. And he loves the Patriots and tackles. So that's a pretty good thing. Leading the Patriots and tackles, kind of a big deal. Uh, 88 speed, that's pretty fast for outside linebacker, honestly. That's the exact same speed as, like, the super high-end Charles Sutton, like the 99 Sutton. So, uh, like, that's a pretty high speed for outside linebacker. Tackling 94, not that great. Block shed 87, not that great. Strength 87. Awareness is only 84. Play rack is, uh, 89. So, decent card. Uh, under 10,000. So it's not a not a terrible terrible card. Let's see the other one we got here, left end, and it is Jerry Hughes. So let's up Jerry Hughes right on the top. Let's see what the cheapest Jerry Hughes is. He uses. Oh my God, why are these so cheap? I guess ends are just super cheap for some reason. Let's find the cheapest Hughes just to see how much he is. Or we'll just sort of like this. There he is, Jerry Hughes. Going for 6,000, for 4,500. Yeah, that looks like that's the cheapest, is 4,500. So yeah, not too expensive. He's got uh, run stuff, which is what I like. And he was second on the team in sacks, first and forced fumbles. So, uh, not bad. And uh, 88 speed, not bad for a left end. Like, not very many of them are up over 90 defensive event at least. Um, I'm pretty sure that Mario Williams is also on the Bills and also is a left end, so I don't understand this. But whatever, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so he's not a bad card, and for about 5,000, 4,500, you can pick one of those up. Final edition, Jerry Hughes. Let's see what else we got. Last one, last new card. Uh, Wide receiver from the Raiders. It is Rod Streeter. I think his name is. Let's find him. Dexter McCluster is not even a wide receiver. He is a running back. But whatever. I guess he wants to be considered a wide receiver on here. Okay, that's fine. There we go. There's the first Rod Streeter. 
7,000 uh, short pass is uh, he's got short pass and long pass led the team in the receiving yards that, I guess that warrants a final edition card if you lead the team in receiving yards that's pretty good well, that just means that the receivers are terrible right uh, 95 speed that's not bad for uh, a budget wide receiver um, catch 93 kind of low route running 88 kind of low but spectacular catch 92 not bad um, catching traffic 91 so if you want him in your slot 95 speed is fast so that's not too terrible honestly and yeah that's basically it um, the other the other card in the that released with the With the other, uh, the one that you get for doing the entire collection is, I'll just show you really quick. I don't think it, you can see the actual card, but here it is. Team of the week. It does give you a Cordell Patterson, which is a 96 overall. Um, and Cordell Patterson has 97 speed, so he's blazing fast. He'd be a really good return guy. And he's got um, short pass and speed run two decent chemistries and then um, route running is 90 catch is 90 catching traffic is 88 so those are all pretty low um, awareness is 90 a spectacular catch 94 so that's good agility 96 so he's just a speed demon type guy in the slot kick returner um, so yeah the only way to get him your 96 overall Cordero Patterson from the Vikings and I don't know what he did to warrant but whatever <laughs> but yeah uh, you got to collect all of those other ones that came out to get the uh, Cordero Patterson so that's a nice little uh, signature card right there Cordero Patterson kind of cool okay and so the other card that was released is the Julio Jones combine card and this thing is the 98 overall wide receiver with short pass and long pass chemistry. And uh, I'll just show you which collectibles he does need. He needs agility, speed, and acceleration. And then you need to get his gold one. His gold one's not too bad uh, as a player. But yeah, let me show you what he's got. They are on the auction block for about 100,000. So not a terrible price but honestly why would you do that when you can just get Jerry Rice for 100000 let's see if we can find him here but he did just come out today so today was the, when he was released so let's see where are you at where are you at Julio oh 120 I've seen him for 100 earlier but yeah so about 120 for Julio Jones uh, let's check him out here and he does give a plus two acceleration and plus two catch to your entire team. That's not bad. And the other one, because there's always two different ones, and the other one gives plus two release and oh, and plus two route running. I like the acceleration better, honestly. What is this? It's acceleration and catch. Yeah, acceleration and catch or uh, route running and release. So I like the I like the acceleration and catch. Uh, I think it's a little bit more versatile for your team because it affects everyone, not just your receivers, which route running and release really only affects your receivers. But uh, he's got 96 speed, 95 agility, so he's a freaking speedster. Um, 94 awareness, 93 route running, which is good for that high end of a, a speed guy. Usually speed guys have crappy route running. Um, 96 catch. That's pretty good, um, and, but he doesn't have 96 catch, he's got 98 catch if you get the one with the catch boost. Um, plus he's got 96 release, which is high end, 96 spectacular catch, and he's 6'3", so he's huge. So he's a beast, 94 catch in traffic. Um, pretty dope combine warrior card, uh, Julio Jones is a big receiver, I don't like the big receivers, all my receivers are pretty big. Um, I've got Josh Gordon. Um, well, so I have Josh Gordon, Larry Fitzgerald, and, and uh, Jerry Rice. All big receivers. None of them are like small speed super guys. So yeah, that, that about wraps it up for this quick Madden 
update, new card releasing video. I uh, just want to let you know new cards are out and also the legendary packs are currently available. I don't know how much longer they will be um, just because they usually have them only for a little bit. Let me show you the legendary pack. Legendary packs are available and they have a new legendary bundle if you purchase the legendary bundle for $75 which um, I feel like is a lot. You do get four of the Julio Jones collectibles. So that's not bad. And you get a Combine Warrior Topper Pack. Or no, you get the you get the Julio Jones you get the Julio Jones blue card, the 80 overall. And then you get four collectibles for his collections. They're probably just gonna be silvers and maybe one or two golds. But um, yeah, so that's what you get if you buy the legendary card. But um yeah, the, or you buy the legendary bundle for $75, so you get the four different packs. I feel it was like the three pack bundle, and then you get all that bonus topper stuff. I might have gone for it, but this is just too much. It's $75, like the game only costs 60 I don't know, but um, I don't know. I know a lot of people that spend a lot of money on Ultimate Team. I personally don't, but I love Ultimate Team. It's pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, that's basically about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Um, I will be having Sunday night pack opening. Plus, I will have a Monday night coin pack opening. And then probably another news video on Sunday with when the new other new cards come out. Um, the golden ticket cards that were user-created are coming out this weekend. Um, most likely. And that's the word on the street. So uh, not 100% on that, but stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys next time here on Envelope M Double Gaming. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, go Devils!